Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome back to another episode of New World. Today is episode 3 and welcome back. So today we're going to be working with a mod called Tinker's Construct. I want to get, use it to get myself some really cool tools. Uh, if we take a look in here and search up pickaxe, you can see there's all these pickaxe heads, they're part of it, but they're not even the beginning of it. There is a lot more cool stuff with the, you, the, that you can make. There we go. <laughs> I can talk properly. Um, there are a lot of cool things you can make, and we're going to take a look at that in today's episode. Uh, just quickly before we do start that, there are a few things I've got to talk about. Uh, first of all, uh, I'll show you the things that I've done in between episodes. So around the area, and pretty much all over spawn, if I hit F7, I think, yeah, there we go. Oh, we need a torch there to stop things spawning. Uh, I've been going around the area and lighting up everywhere like a madman. I went and... Uh, nipped over to the redwood forest which is about 500 blocks in that direction uh, and got some saplings for the really 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 tall fort by four redwood trees and went and started turning all the logs from that into charcoal and made tons of torches and spawn is mostly lit up all the way over to there to the forest to that forest and up to the uh, shoreline of that river so quite a bit of this top area is um, lit up now it's safe and we can stop getting these creeper explosions everywhere uh, the few other things that I've done uh, is, well, to be honest, I've not really done that much on the server. The main reason because of that is we're not sure whether we're going to be f switching over to the new Feed the Beast pack, which is coming out in the next, um, it's within this week anyway. It was supposed to be coming out, I think, on Monday or Sunday. I don't know, today's Tuesday. I think it was supposed to be coming out on um, uh, Sunday or Monday. I can't quite remember, but it was supposed to be coming out one of the days earlier this week uh, and uh, Apparently the pack had some delays due to some bugs and we was planning on switching over to the feed the beast pack uh, We don't know if we're gonna have to reset the world for that But a few of the members have been wanting it and I've also been thinking yeah There's a there's a lot more stuff to do in the feed the beast pack uh, Even though I really like the new world pack. They're pretty much the same except for a few minor differences like the metallurgy mod and all that uh, and that's mainly why uh, over the next couple of episodes I'm going to be sort of focusing on the mods that are more unique to the new world pack such as all the furniture mods metallurgy uh, and all that type of stuff because I still want to try these mods out and then if we end up switching over to feed the beast in the next couple of weeks or maybe even the end of this week I'm not quite sure uh, we will um, have done the mods that we won't have in feed the beast if that makes any sense so uh, that's what the plan is, uh, but for now we're going to have to get started on Tinker's Construct. Oh, uh, the other things I've done around my base. I, I have done a, a little bit of work with these chests. I've upgraded them all to gold chests, so we had a little bit more storage, and they're no longer double chests because the golden chests can't be doubled up, same as the iron and all that. Uh, and down here, if we can sprint, come on. Oh, you can't sprint while, sprint while on stairs, can you? Um... The turtles are finished. I've set up a little bit of an area over here for them. I've mined out two quarries here. I don't know if I've shown you that in the previous episode. But I've also set the turtles up so they're going on a 50 by 50 quarry. Now, I'm not sure if they've stopped because I did log off the, log off the server for a little bit after I set these up. So I don't know if the server has stopped them or not. Let's just head over there. Wow, oh, it's going to be a bit of a distance to get over to him. Okay. Yeah, it looks like he's died, so let's go and pick him up. Come on, give me your stuff. There we go. Uh, so, I don't think a 50 by 50 area is good. I just wanted to test it out and see how it works. I mean, we haven't got chunk loaders or anything like that, so it's a little bit awkward to use these. Uh, like I said, we do have the... Ooh, glitchy ceiling. Uh, we do have the world anchors, but they're not really 100% useful. That's the thing about them. Now, has this turtle died as well? Let's have a look. Let's just get around here. Now, where would he be? He is over there. Okay. Alright, so I already know he's dead, so let's pick up him as well. There we go. So we're going to set these turtles back up nearby. I'm going to probably set them on a 10 by 10 area. So while we're actually logged on recording for a little bit, these can be working and gathering us some stuff, which shouldn't be too bad. So let's just pop down a little bit of dirt here. And I'll pop him in front of this chest so he registers it. There we go. And I'll set him to excavate let's do 15 yeah that sounds good uh, if you're wondering what I've done with these chests I'll explain it in a second uh, basically what I've done is let's just set him up excavate 15 Boop. Uh, basically what I've done here is I've popped down an emerald pipe now that's two emeralds and a bit of glass to make that like a normal pipe um, 
And what I've done is set filters in here, so there's cobblestone, gravel, dirt, and flint. So the only thing that will get pumped out of this chest, this works like a wooden pipe if you're wondering by the way, uh, except it will only take the items out. Now at the moment it's sort of glitched out, I'm not entirely sure why. It doesn't seem to be taking them out, but it was working earlier, I'm not quite sure if it's because it wasn't chunk loaded or anything, but I will, I will fix it later. Them chests shouldn't overflow while we're working around here. So, on to Tinker's Construct. Well, if you're wondering why it is, it is a mod that can let you make lots and lots and lots of custom tools and really fun things to mess around with and try out. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a book called Materials and You. And you usually get that when you first log into the server. And I think I've got mine in my miscellaneous chest. Uh, there we go. Now, if you do lose this, uh, you can make it with a blank pattern, which is just... Uh, that two wooden planks and two sticks so it's not too difficult and you usually just put that with a book in a crafting bench and you should be able to double that up let's have a look yeah there we go so we can get two of them uh, so I'm actually gonna make a second one if we've got a book because I want it for something else in the future uh, so have we got yeah we've got a little bit of this let's just quickly make another book Boop. and we need a little bit of leather there we go and let's just grab ourselves a book. There we go. So that allows us to duplicate this, get a second one. There we go. So if we need another one, we've got one there. Uh, I might need it for the future. And I think I remember what I need it for. Might be for one of the other books. I can't quite remember. But at least I've got two in case I lose it. So taking a look at this, you can see this is what it tells you how to get started off with uh, the... What's it called? Tinker's Construct Nod. And now if we flick through, you'll see... It tells you to start making these blank patterns, so we're going to need a few of these. Uh, let's hop into this chest, and if we take a look, we'll grab some redwood for now. Use this stuff up. <laughs> We've got tons of it. Why not use it up? And let's make a ton of sticks, uh, and we will make some blank patterns. There we go. So the blank patterns are pretty much what you need to get started with this. If we take a look at the recipes again, you'll see that we can make a table, which is a stencil table, uh, a part crafter, and a pattern chest. And we're going to need some of these, so let's drop the redwood off. Uh, we might need some oak. There we go. I don't know if it's specific, but I'm going to stick with this. So let's take one more look. Uh, we need a stencil table, part crafter, and pattern chest. So that's not too difficult to make. Uh, let's make the chest first, so do that. Okay, uh, the part table is just that, so that's the stencil table. Uh, we've got materials and you, which is the second book. So as soon as you make the stencil table, it'll come up with the other book, telling you how to make the tools and everything. So we'll take a look at that in a second. We also need the part builder, and we also need the... Is it that way around? Yes, it is the pattern chest. Now, I think there is also, if we take a look in here, uh, that is everything. Uh, we also need the tool station, so that is basically a crafting bench, so just do that. And all we need to do is that and that. So that is sort of the basic things we're going to need for now. I don't think I've missed anything out. If I have, I'll make it in a second. And let's just take another look. Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, there are a few more things in here. There is the seared brick and whatnot, but I will... Uh, Keep this in my inventory and we'll take a look at that in a second. So here we go, here's the upgraded materials in you, the red book now. Uh, so if we open this up, you can see we've got all the different types of tools, what we can make and what we need for them. So we'll go over that in a second. It also tells you what materials you can make the tools with and also the modifiers and the durability and all that. So I will explain that once we get into making some stuff. So let's just skip forward a little bit. Uh, and if we head over to here, you can see these are the modifiers and different items will do different things to the tools. And also there's a, a few more recipes up here, electric tools uh, and so on. And that's basically how to make the balls of moss and also the lava crystal. So that is all the stuff regarding the tools. So if we hop over to here, I'm going to use this room over here for all our um, Tinker's Construct stuff just to keep it safe. So first of all, we've got the part builder. And I'm going to pop that down there. And if we take a look in here, this is what you use with uh, stencils. And that's what you make the parts for the tools for. Now, if we also take a look, we've got tool station and stencil table. So the stencil table, if we pop that down, let's go here. 
Uh, if we take a look in here, you can flick through the patterns. If we put a blank one in here, you can flick through patterns and uh, tell it what to make. So there's like the shovel heads there and all that. So we'll look into that in a second. Uh, we've also got the tool station. So I think the pattern chest goes next to the part builder. Uh, and that allows you to access the chest from inside the part builder. You can also access it like that. And that's what you put all the templates you make in. Uh, and then there's the tool station. And that's what you actually build the tool within. So that is basically all the machines. So I'm back and uh, it's been a little while. I just went and reset my client because my frame rate went, went really, really, really bad there for a second. I don't really know why. Uh, but anyway, we're back. So uh, let's uh, continue from where we left off with this. So if we take a look in the stencil table, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a... Let's start off with just an all iron pickaxe because I want to try and go through this and explain it best I can. So we're going to want a pickaxe head pattern. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and want a tool binder, which is that. Uh, and we're also going to want a tool rod, which I think is, that's a tough tool rod. Uh, that's knife blade. I think it is just a tough tool rod, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Sword blade. Let's go and select tool rod. There we go. Tool rod pattern. Uh, so each of these costs an amount of material. So that's 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 1. So if we hop into the part builder... Uh, we'll shove the templates in there. So that's the pattern chest next to it. So all the templates are stored in here. You don't have to, but it's easier than carrying them all around with you. If we pop a pickaxe head up there and pop an ingot in, uh, we get a pickaxe head. And because that was one material, that cost one ingot for the pickaxe head. Uh, if we pop a tool binder down in this slot here, and we'll pop that in there, uh, you'll get an iron binding. And because the material was 0 0.5, you end up with an iron chunk, which is half of an ingot. And if we pop this in, which is also 0.5, we can use the iron chunk to make the rod. So that's cost two iron ingots for all the stuff we need for the pickaxe. And then if we go into the tool builder or the tool station, we select the pickaxe. We'll throw all this stuff in here. Let's order it up the right way around. There we go. And we get a pickaxe. And if we take a look here, you can also see the durability is 325. Uh, it attacks with 1.5 hearts and a mining speed of 6 with mine level redstone. So... That is an all iron pickaxe. And if we take a look, it's got reinforced one. And each material has its own like specific traits and enchantments you can get. Now, if we head back into the part builder quickly, I'm going to use obsidian uh, with the tool binding pattern to get a obsidian binding. Uh, and I'm going to use the obsidian shard with a tool rod to get an obsidian rod. Now, what I'm going to show you is the difference you can make by doing this so if we put an obsidian rod on here you can see that the durability has gone down overall because the obsidian if we take a look in the materials in you uh, if we head over to obsidian boop, 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 uh, it has a 0 0.8 times handle modifier so it'll take the durability down uh, when you use it but it will give you reinforced three so that is actually quite useful. So you sort of mix and match the materials to sort of get the pickaxe you want. So if we use an obsidian binding uh, on this, you can see we're still 325, 325 durability. So it's not changed from an all iron. But we also get reinforced 3. So that's what I'm going to use for this pickaxe. Our first one, I'm going to call it, let's call it the chip axe. And let's call it number 1 So I'm going to make some more in a minute. Uh, so that is the chip axe. And if we take a look, it's about the same speed as iron. Uh, the reinforced, because it's reinforced 3, it like gives you a chance of every now and then. It won't use durability when you break a block. So it's quite cool. And it's definitely as good as the diamond one. Uh, if we actually pop it back in here, I believe, uh, we can see the mining level is redstone. So it'll only mine up to redstone. You can't mine anything past it. And yeah, that's basically how it works. And also you can repair it by popping the iron ingots in here and you can repair it without experience. So I really like this. It's a it's a really cool mod. Now, uh, moving on to the next thing, if we take a look at materials in you again, you can see there is uh, the seared bricks and all that. And that's to make a smeltery. Now, these themselves are really, really, really cool thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's in one of these uh, where you can make it. There should be a, a diagram of how to make it somewhere. Uh, unless... Unless, unless, unless. Let's just flick through that. Nope. Uh, I believe then we need to take this materials and you book. Uh, let's hit U on it for uses. Oh, it's frozen a little bit. Uh, we should be able to upgrade it to the next type of book. Let's have a look. Uh, materials. Can't search. Materi 
apples. Nope, we haven't got the other book yet. Uh, basically, you can make these ingot casts and all that. Uh, and they're made in a smeltery. So I'm just going to quickly look up uh, how to make the smeltery quickly. And I will be right, uh, right back. So it is a multi-block structure. And apparently, it's using all this stuff. But I'm not 100% sure on it. So uh, one second, I'll be right back and we'll just check how to make it. I did a bit of research and after looking at stuff, uh, apparently once we've crafted the grout and turned it into seared bricks, so that's just sand, gravel and clay, uh, it gives you two of them, uh, you put that in a furnace and it'll give you seared bricks and once you craft the seared bricks, uh, you should then get another book. So I've already had some smelting in here, uh, so we should get about two stacks of bricks, so that's about half a stack of the seared bricks I think if we, yeah we only get one of each, okay good. Uh, so I meant one for each recipe, so that's half a stack. Uh, and then we get another book. So lots of books. M. Dayu, who makes the mod, must like books. <laughs> so if we take a look at this, uh, it gives you a sort of an explanation about this. You can use this smeltery to create alloys of um, different metals. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit more gravel, some sand and what clay I've got left. And I'm just going to make a little bit more of this grout and turn it up because I don't think we're going to have enough uh, with just half a stack. So let's just shove this in here and this can be smelting while we're doing some other things. So let's grab some charcoal. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Uh, and I'll just leave this in here to smelt while we're doing other things around our base and while we're building this. Uh, so if we take a look in the smeltery, you can see that it tells you what blocks you're going to need. So we need a smeltery controller which is very simply a, if we take a look over here, a smeltery controller is just a circle of them like a furnace, so that's not too bad. So just one of them. Uh, is that right or do we need it in the other bench? Uh, let's just take a look quickly. Smeltery controller, uh, it is in, is it in here? I'm not quite sure, I might have got this wrong a little bit. Uh, any of these? I'm not sure, that's odd. <laughs> Why does this not work? Oh, it's the bricks itself. Okay, I feel like a bit of an idiot now. <laughs> yeah, it's just the bricks. Okay, uh, so I do need some bricks. So we've got the bricks for the smeltery itself. Uh, how many of them do we need? Uh, we need only nine of them. Uh, so we've got a little bit too many. All right, I suppose it's good that we've actually put these in here. So I'm just going to quickly wait for these to smelt. Uh, let's take half of these and half of that. And we'll shove them in there for now. Smelt this up a little bit quicker. Uh, let's grab what we've got. There we go. So let's actually get a smeltery controller. Okay, I turned them all into bricks by accident. Can we uncraft them? Oh, no. Oh, no worries then. No worries then. You learn by what you make mistakes with. Uh, so we've got a, sen um, a smeltery controller. Uh, we also need nine of the bricks, which we've got. We need a lava tank, uh, which is uh, this. So that's just uh, eight of them uh, around a piece of glass. So let's grab a little bit of glass. And we will get a few more of these. Okay. Uh, so, lava tank, here we come. It's just that. Awesome. Uh, so, we've got everything up to there made. Uh, what else do we need? We need uh, a combination, uh, any combination of 10 seared bricks, lava tanks, or drains, one faucet, and a casting table. Okay, so I suppose we'll make a drain, a casting table, and a faucet then, so we've at least got something. Uh, so a smeltery drain is just six of the bricks, so we need a few more. Just let's grab what we've got. There we go. So we just need a drain. We need a faucet, which I think is just this. There we go. And what's the final thing we need? I think it was a table, wasn't it? Uh, and all that is, is them in the shape of a pair of leggings. Okay. Let's just make this quickly and then we can pop together this multi-block. So there we go, that's pretty much everything ready to go. So let's head over here quickly and we'll take a look. So this is the area we've got. Now if we take a look in this, uh, you can see this is the smeltery itself. Now there's three hollow blocks there and I don't know if they're what we need. Let's just uh, take a look at them quickly. Uh, lava tanks. Yeah, this uh, the seared window is what I would like. Just so we can see in there. And also the seared glass. Uh, what is on here? What have they used? They've used seared glass. So let's just make some of this quickly as well. Uh, and that way we can see into the smeltery. So just that and that. Oh, and we need a few more bricks, don't we? Okay, that's not a problem. Just grab some out of here. Okay, so corners. There we go. Go on. 
There we go, and just do that. There we go. So we've got three of them. All right, so we should be able to make this smeltery now. Uh, and I believe it's not too difficult of a structure to make. Uh, what we do is we pop a 3x3 three three on the back, and that's not going to line up there. And uh, you know what? Let's break this quickly. Yeah, we can pick these up good. Uh, and I'll probably sink it into the wall back here. I think that would look good. Uh, so let me just go and quickly build this, and I will uh, be right back. So that's built now, I've sunk the back of this into the wall so it takes up a little less space, but it's still a fairly big structure. And uh, Now I believe you can make these taller, but I've just done the pattern that it said in the book with 9 uh, seared brick on the floor, and then the walls as they are with the lava tank, the controller, uh, and the drain. I'm going to pop a faucet on the drain, and I'm going to pop the table underneath. Uh, so that is pretty much everything done for this now. So if we take a look in here, you can see there's a recipes area. Uh, and there's also a area where you can make the alloys now I'll explain this in a second uh, we do need to make uh, some aluminium I believe so or aluminum as it's pronounced there but I say aluminium because I'm from the UK uh, so let's take a look in here uh, so recipes where were they again uh, just here blank casts are made by pouring aluminium uh, brass and all gold into an empty casting table so we're going to need some aluminium sets, three aluminium and one copper. So let's have a look if we've got some. Uh, I was pulverizing all the material up, so I don't know if we've got any. We've got a little bit of aluminium. And uh, we need three copper ore as it is. So let's check the turtles. All right, the turtles had some copper, so I've just gone and grabbed that. Let's go and pop this in the smeltery. I'll show you how this works. Uh, so if we hop over here and take a look at this, uh, we can see that we need three aluminium and one copper. So we've got three aluminium, which is just, we pop it in the smeltery. So one, two, and the third should be in there, shouldn't it? Where's the third one gone? Oh, it's dropped on the floor. I wonder where that had gone. Uh, so there's three in there. Where's it disappearing? Oh, there it is. Look, okay, that's odd. And one copper. So that should make bronze. Let's just double check. Uh, not bronze, I mean um, aluminium brass. So let's, yep, three aluminium, one copper. And now these are not going to start smelting until we have lava in here. So that means we're going to need a lava bucket. So let's go and just grab some lava quickly. Um, I'll make some buckets and we'll hop down to the uh, bottom of our turtle mining area and grab some lava. Uno, dos, tres. Lava collected. We're back at the smeltery. Let's see where we put the lava. So I think we can just right click on this with the lava tank. Yeah. Or the lava bucket, I mean. So let's flick that in there, flick that in there, flick that in there. Uh, so as you can see, the ore, what we've actually put in there, the copper, that is the wrong type of copper, isn't it? Yeah. There's a few different types of copper, and some of it doesn't work, some of it does. Uh, I might have to make a forged lexicon. Let's just do that quickly. A lexicon, where is it? Here we go. Cyan wall, a book, and some gold ingots. Okay, let's make this quickly then. So all we need is some paper, a book, which is that, and the forged lexicon itself. Now you can put this on a, I think it's called a plinth. I, I made one of these in FTB actually. Uh, is it going to search? Oh, that was odd. <laughs> uh, it's just this. So another bit of sign wall, but we don't have to use it. I think we can hold shift, right click. Yeah, it works. Good. So if we take a look at the copper, there's a few different types of copper. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly which one is for the um, Tinker's Contract. Let's have a look. Uh, the copper is... Oh, it doesn't say, does it? Okay, I think the best thing to do then would be to go in here. Tinker's Construct, where is it? It's just there. And let's have a look specifically at Tinker's Construct stuff. Come on. Any eyes got weird lag for some reason. I'm doing uh, searching via Tinker's Construct and it's just nope, nope, nope. Okay, there we go. I need refreshing. So where's the ores? Let's have a look. They are just here. Uh, so copper ore is 1740 dash three uh, so this is basically the easiest way to fix it if you do have any problems uh, and you need to do this uh, let's say if oh there is 1740.3 let's switch it over uh, so if you're on your own world and you're trying to do that i just thought i'd show you that just so you know so we've basically got the aluminium in there at the moment if we throw a copper in there that's the one copper to the three aluminium and that should also melt down now if you look in there the block is placed it's not real it's just like a visual um 
in, uh, identifier just to make it look cool. Uh, so as soon as that copper melts, which it should do very soon, uh, we will get ourselves a some liquid aluminium brass. Now what you can do with this is you can make the blank casts with that, uh, and then you can use the casts in this um, tool, uh, not tool station, uh, the stencil table to make uh, the equivalent uh, of these. So you can make a metal uh, pickaxe head pattern. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to pour the molten metals that you make in the smeltery into that. Because obviously if you've got the wood one and pop the wood one in here. So let's just go in. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's uh, gone there. Okay. So if we pop the wood one in there, that would just burn instantly. Uh, so we need a metal one because obviously pouring molten metals into wooden things is not going to end well. So I'm just going to quickly wait for this to uh, smelt up and then I'll show you what you do with this next. Alright, if we take a look in the smeltery, uh, you can see that the aluminium brass is done. It's uh, rendering as a liquid in the tank. So all we have to do is pour it into the faucet by right clicking on that. Uh, that will eventually harden and turn into a template which we can then take out of there. So uh, there we go, a blank cast. So this is what you use to make everything else. So we're going to go ahead and pop it into the stencil table uh, and if we take a look next pattern you can see we make a tool rod with it we can make a pickaxe head which is what we're going to use because we can then uh, make a couple more blank casts we'll use this metal up for now and what we can now do is we can make a pickaxe head using an alloy of metals so that means we can mix metals together to make a better pickaxe head and um, we'll look a little bit more into that in a second uh, there are a few ores that we can't even mine with diamond pickaxes, uh, so we need to make a better pickaxe from this mod, uh, which if we take a look, let's just get this out of here quickly, and let's get a final one going. Is that everything? Okay. Uh, if we take a look in here, you can see there's all these different alloy alloys. Now, we want to get cobalt and aridite, or ardite, and to get that, we're going to need, I believe, an aluminium brass pickaxe. Uh, although I'm not sure, it might be aluminite what I need. Uh, so I'm going to need 5 aluminum, or oh, aluminium, <laughs> uh, 2 iron and obsidian. So let me grab this, I've already got the obsidian, uh, I just need some of the aluminium and uh, the iron, which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, we've got some in there, okay. Wait, is it 5? Uh, let's have a look. 5 aluminium, okay, and we just need 2 iron ore, which we've got. Awesome! So all we have to do is hop over here and throw some in here and then we can make an alloy of this. So what is it again? Uh, 5 aluminium, 2 iron and 2 obsidian. So 2 obsidian, 5 aluminium. I don't think you can stack these neither so that's why I'm doing it like that. And then 2 iron. So I'm going to leave this all to melt. Uh, you'll see it eventually melt itself down which is going to go quite well. The aluminium is going to melt quickest just because the melting point of aluminium is quite low. Uh, the iron's then going to go in there, probably the obsidian last, I'm not quite sure though. But once this is melted down, I will be right back and we'll make ourselves another pickaxe, which we can then use uh, to go into the nether and grab ourselves some cobalt and uh, some, let's take a look, uh, what is it called, some cobalt and ardite. Okay, so this stuff is nearly smelted, I just wanted to come back now and show you this, look how cool that colour looks. I don't know why I like it, but I just like that deep red colour looks nice. Uh, so the obsidian is almost smelted and you'll see as soon as it actually melts down uh, it will go ahead and get, just get rid of the block and you'll see it all mixed together which looks pretty funky. Is it nearly done? Oh there we go we just almost caught it. Uh, so that is the uh, let's just take another look what it's called I'm gonna end up forgetting. Uh, in, in fact I already have forgot. Uh, the aluminite uh, ready to go or the alumite I think that's what it's called. Uh, so let's make a pickaxe head from that and uh, we'll pour some of that in there. Come on, come on, there we go, uh, so if we take a look, that's going to the cast, now it's set, and we can take that out, we can take the cast out, so we've got an alamite pickaxe head on, or, yeah, alamite, and we're also going to want to make the tool bindings and stuff out of this as well, I'm not sure if that matters, but I'm going to do that just in case, so we don't end up wasting lots and lots of stuff, so where's the binding, uh, there we go, cool, so let's grab some of this, we'll fill that up, Hopefully we've got enough stuff from this. Yeah, we should have. And the tool binding. Now, to get the rest of the stuff out of here, I think you can put a tank on the side of this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can remember something like that. 
Uh, and we're also going to want a chest nearby as well. So we've got somewhere to store all these blank casts because they won't go in the pattern chest. So let's just do that. And we'll put some of our stuff for this mod. Um, we'll put it over here. For now anyway. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and I'll also leave the books in there as well, what we're not going to use. So I don't think we can use that or that. In fact, we might need that, but I will grab it later. So that's everything for this pickaxe. Let's go and pop this together. And what we're going to want this for is we're going to be making ourselves this alamite pickaxe so we can go into the nether. Uh, and as you can see, it's got reinforced too. Uh, and let's um, call it chip axe 2. There we go. Uh, and we're going to head into the nether. We're going to go and uh, see if we can find some cobalt. Now, cobalt is a really, really, really cool ore. And it allows you to mix it with another ore called uh, Ardite. Uh, and from that, uh, you can make uh, Manilium. Manilian? I, I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's Manilian. Uh, so I'm going to head into the nether, try and find cobalt and Ardite. Uh, the only thing you can mine them with, to my uh, knowledge, is this... Uh, Alimite pickaxe, so uh, that's the reason I made it. So I will uh, see you once we're in the nether and once we've found some. So just before we went into the nether, I, I decided to go ahead and pop together a bow. So let's see, there's level 14 there. Punch one, okay. Not particularly great, but yeah, it's an enchantment nonetheless. Uh, so I just wanted that in case when we went in there, there was ghasts. I did go in there before and I got fed up with gas shooting me while I was trying to roam around. And um, yeah, I just decided to go and make a bow instead so I could kill them. Uh, as for back here, I went and made myself a brewing stand quickly, and we should have some fire resistance pots ready. Yep, there we go. Uh, I brewed them up just in case we do uh, get in a bad trip near lava, and we don't end up um, burning to death, because obviously we've got some decent stuff on us. I don't want to end up losing it. We've got our jetpack and uh, so on, and I'm prone to having my jetpack run out of power above lava, so in my luck, I would end up dead from it. Oh, I'm talking about ghasts. Okay, where are you? Where is he? Oh, oh god. <laughs> I guess I needed the fire resistance. I'll take that in a second. In fact, let's just take it now. We've got eight minutes. Why not? There we go. So where is this ghast? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Go on. There we go. And two. There we go. So let's try and find some cobalt. It's apparently bright blue ore. Uh, there is some... Is he pissed? Oh my god, they're pissed at me for some reason. That makes no sense. Are you? Oh my god, why are they so mad at me? What? Okay. Let's kill these. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I didn't like coming to the nether. Any more pigmen? Pigmen? Pigman? Oh, god, there's one there. With no head. Okay. <laughs> are they... Okay. Let's go over to this dude, see if he's mad. He shouldn't... Oh, they're all mad. Okay. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, let's just try and grab this. Come on. There we go. So that is some our uh, Ardite. I'm going to need quite a bit of this. I'm going to grab at least 16 of it so we don't really have to come back here. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time in the nether going around grabbing stuff. Is he pissed at me? No. Good. Uh, so I'm going to keep going around the nether, try and get some of that. I'll also try and find some cobalt. Uh, in fact, this is some here, I think, isn't it? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, I nearly got killed. Okay, uh, hopefully I don't die while I'm going around this. So, I will see you if I find some cobalt. That is not, though. That's not cobalt. So, let's try and get some. Come on, die. Oh, wow, I'm missing this, like, terrible. There we go, he's dead. Okie dokie. Uh, so, this is some cobalt right here. Uh, if we go and mine this up, you can see cobalt ore. So, uh, if we take a look at this, uh, just quickly, hopefully nothing comes and attacks us. Uh, we need two cobalt and two ardite for each of these ingots. Or each of, uh, yeah, I believe it's each ingot. So, I'm going to continue wandering around here, grabbing some ardite, which seems to be fairly common. It's the cobalt, which is uh, fairly difficult to find. But hopefully I should... Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> that gas nearly got us then. Go on, go on down. I'm terrible with bows. I need to use them more. Come on. Ah, oh, he always moves. There we go. Awesome. So I'm going to continue looking for cobalt, and I will meet you back home once we've got a decent amount of it. And I think that's some down, down there. Yep, it is. Good. So we're just coming back from the nether, and we've got pretty much a, a decent amount of stuff that we're going to use for now. Uh, I should have really grabbed some lava buckets, actually talking about that while we're in there. But no worries, I can go and grab some from back home. 
or back down in the mine. Uh, so we've got 17 cobalt and uh, uh, what's it called? 11 aradite. So we can probably use 10 of that uh, and 10 of that. So let's throw these in here. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know if you can. Yeah, yeah, you can drag them around. Oh, nice. Cool. And let's just do that. And we'll scroll down the list a little bit. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Is it going to let me? That's kind of odd. Oh, it's full. Okay, so, yeah, this is full. It's got to melt down a little bit before I can add more. Okay, no worries. What I might actually do is take one of those out and add one of those so it's an even amount. That seems fairly logical. Cool. So, I'm going to grab some lava buckets, fill this back up. Once it's melted down, I'll be back and we'll make ourselves a really, really awesome pickaxe. So, we're back and we're going to use this, what we've got in here. This is the Manillion uh, melted down. It looks very similar to this, actually, but... It shouldn't be. So uh, let's grab ourselves one of the patterns. We'll use a pickaxe head for this. So let's do that. Uh, so this is the Manillion melted out now. Now if we take a look at this, we've got a few cool things about it. I know this video is going on quite long, but I want to show you this just quickly. Uh, so the Cobalt has a 800 durability with a mining speed of 10. If we take a look at this, uh, mining level 5 Manillion, mining speed 9. So the Manillion is the, pretty much the best. Even though the mining speed is slower than Cobalt, it's still pretty much the best one uh, in terms of durability. So once you've made a full tool out of it, it's got 3,000 units, which is a lot. Now, one thing what I'm thinking of doing, the handle modifier is 2.5. Uh, if we look at the Cobalt, that's 1.75. There's not really much else what's higher than... Uh, two and a half. So I think we're going to make a full Manillion pickaxe, which should be a really cool idea. So let's do that. Uh, that's the first part. We need these two here. So let's do that. We'll melt this into here. Cool. Uh, so we've got a Manillion pickaxe head. Uh, we have got a Manillion rod. Uh, and all we need now is the Manillion tool binding, which is done. Cool. So we've got everything we need for a Manillion pickaxe. Let's pop this together. So tool station, pickaxe, boom. Boom and boom. Awesome. And we'll call this the chip at just a minute. Let's let's actually click on there. The chip X 1337. <laughs> oh crap. I, I named it wrong. Okay, don't don't look at it. <laughs> it's named wrong. Let's just rename it. Chip X 1337. There we go. Chip X 1337. In fact, can't we rename it? No, we can't actually, uh, unless we like repair it with something, but I uh, will leave it misspelled for now. <laughs> uh, now, there are a few things you can do to this, and because this episode's running on long, I might include it next episode. But just for example, you can add um, modifiers to your pickaxe. So if you add redstone to it, you can add luck uh, to this. Uh, and the redstone gives you the haste, and I think lapis gives you luck. So I'm probably going to have haste and luck on this. But first of all, that mine's quite quick. would like it a little bit quicker, so I, that's what I'll do next episode. Uh, so for now, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, today's episode uh, with the chip X1337. Uh, oh, I can't believe I spelled that wrong. Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I will see you all on the next one. If you did enjoy this episode, a like would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. So bye and cue the awesome music. So that was episode 3 of New World, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode, if you want to check out the previous episode of New World, uh, feel free to, the link is in the bottom left, uh, if you want to know what I did in the episode, I sort of set up a little bit of an improved power system uh, with the generators and everything, nothing fantastic but it certainly gets by for now uh, and lets us charge our jetpack up, so if you want to check that out, see how I did it, feel free to, the links on the screen. Uh, also, if you want to check out the previous episode of the 8th, the link's on screen to that as well. Uh, basically, what I did was I attempted the dungeon and I might have failed miserably. <laughs> I'm going to leave it for you to find out. Uh, and there's also the previous episode of Game Dev Tycoon on screen. So if you want to check them out, the links are on screen. Uh, also, all the links you see to YouTube and Twitter and all that, are, which is up top. Uh, they will be found below the video in the description, just click show more, and also while you're looking in the description, uh, there's some more info about the mod pack and the server and all that type of stuff, so uh, I'll see you, and bye!